welcome. Happy Friday. Happy Friday afternoon in which I am not working my normal day job. Hello, Gregory. Uh, so, do we remember how to do one of these streams? It's been a month. Uh, so this is Future Proof Plays. I am playing Soma today. It's a game by Frictional Games. who are also the makers of um, Amnesia and something about Amnesia Pigs and Rebirth and Reborn. A whole bunch of scary games. Um, so Soma, I'll play the first couple hours of it, um, see how it goes. It's supposed to be scary, so it's great. Uh, Gregory in chat is the other half of Future Proof Games. As it's our tiny little uh, indie game studio. Uh, we make video games like Ossuary and Exploit Zero Day, as well as tabletop role-playing games like Rosette Diceless. Um, and hoping I make it to the at least the first big mindfuck. Well, I'm here for it. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to play on safe mode because because I don't like dying a lot in scary games. I've been doing it in Warframe the last couple days. It's not great. So, let's do this. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Philip K. Dick. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Got it somewhere. Let me go scrounge up this medical juice that I was given. Oh yes. We gonna throw some stuff. Oh yes, it was uh I saw that it was an underground or underwater scene of some sort. Hmm. Whoa, that got weird. Hmm. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Oh, okay, got it. I should clean my kitchen. Classic cheese. Is this the tracer fluid? It's not the tracer fluid. Of course it's not. It's not quite as satisfying a fling as uh, some games have. But also it's somewhat more realistic. Huh, okay. Ah, I was in the way. <laughs> I should clean my kitchen. 
You're not wrong, Greg. Yeah, this is, uh... This is how it be sometimes. Right? Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I can't get a good, like, a good whip, like. Nothing but uh -oh. fast food. Buy something healthier. <gasps> Is that some sort of dressing? Is this the tracer fluid? Doesn't get any closer than that. Just gonna put that up there. Oh, geez. Remind uh, my to do list. Remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for a funeral. Oh, okay. That's cool of them. To Simon Jarrett. Hmm. Seems like I should have been able to open those, but I cannot. Art. Robin McConnell's Hooked. Huh. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into dark water, into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, uh, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. Hooked will pull you in. What are you? It's a vape? Yeah, it's a vape thing. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Didn't I? Oh. Nope. How do I turn it on? Gonna turn into sunset, a cleaning sim. All right, coffee, a bug, and a city. Some city, somewhere. A. Hey, I unintentionally picked up a USB stick. I'm just gonna put that there. Of nothing, Majesty of Colors. Yes, yeah, so the itch winter sale. I think we can say is starting in a few days. Uh, 
Uh, that says, I can't really read that. Something 7 to 12. Got a little picture of an alien. Picture of a sad entity. Okay. Whoops. Get well soon. Love, Mom. A checkbook? That is for sure a checkbook. Alright. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. Um, scan session for Saturday. New prescription. Dear Mr. Jared, this is from Aaron Peak. Happy to hear that your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity. Oh, God. To prevent the blood from building up pressure. Woof. Uh, since excessive stress could be fatal. I've written you a prescription for Prozacin to help you with the, with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. Whoops. Oh, I forgot to hit send. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, uh, let's see. So... Better late than never. Hmm. Today is Saturday. That's cool. What else is on this computer? I like computers and games. Okay, well, oh, right. Can I, like, do something with this? I don't think I can combine those items yet. I seem to enjoy traveling. Pace Laboratories. It's the headache doctor. Ah, I did a meet and greet. Met and greeted the author of the scary book. All right. This is adorable. Unfortunately, it is impossible to put down anything gracefully in video games. Downtown accident kills young woman, Toronto. Okay, that is... Let's see. Young a driver distracted by her children ran a red light causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadino Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffered from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Oh, suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon, 26, Survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with uh, permanent brain damage. Uh, so, is there like a whole stack of things? Oh, I could have done that. Nope, okay. What is... Whoops, I didn't realize I could yeet things. Cinema Variety. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something glinted. I feel like I maybe can get at things. Can I, like... Okay. Huh. Well. R lets me rotate. Commonwealth. Xenophobia on the rise. Okay. All right. That 
is a lens for a camera. Just want to make sure I break all of them. Every shard of glass <laughs> inside those lenses is to be destroyed. Mapping mines. Whoops. Don't right click. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, uh, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is not simply a computer, or is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. That's fun. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. I found an animal in my office. It's a cat. Expected to be in the general vicinity, not necessarily to be underfoot. Oh, God. Uh, this, this is worse than the kitchen. Is there even water in there? Okay. Uh-oh. Jackie, stop it. House rig is going to take. You are correct. You're correct. I'm being unfair. Entirely unfair. I'm afraid to open the shower, though. Okay. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. It's a fancy light switch for a. Okay, so the bathroom is less dingy than just two tone gray. Okay, that's a design decision. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Right, I'm looking for a container of liquid instead of just looking through every single thing. There it is. There it is. Motherfucker, first place I was. Sorry, everybody. Although, I was having fun. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. I might have to kick this cat out. It's getting into. gonna be or be I gotta kick this cat out of this office she is uh, knocking over every single thing possible BRB She's gone. She just started just tipping things over. Not gonna, not gonna do it. <laughs> I wish she would. Uh, sure. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Maddie. Chris helped me out. Maddie from SNL? I uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like
like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. So... Huh. I have questions. I know very little about brain damage. But I'm aware it can change your personality quite a bit. Him being super callous about Ashley Hello? being Dr. dead Munchie? is rough. Ah, well, welcome. Thank you. I will probably need it. This is, uh... It's daunting. Where is everyone? Scary. I thought this place would be busy. This place is sketch as fuck. Dude. Don't get your brain scanned here. Yes. Immediately go to their computer. Paul. Where are you? Um... Got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in reception. Are you already here? Ah, you're saying the audio is quiet? Uh, let's see. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. Okay, so the good news is David is associated with... Uh, Dr. Peak, so they're not two weird separate organizations. Um, it's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other uh, to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peak will send someone over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. <laughs> All right, so this is a few days ago. Um, found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wei, and uh, to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in text in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something so we in case we forget. All right. I'm assuming I have to break into some shit. Let's do this. Well, first let's poke their phone. Okay. Get out of the way. Yeah, and it, since I'm streaming, like, I don't want to just, like, leave it on screen for a certain amount of time, because I don't know, you know, folks might be on their phones, or, like, not able to read text in that way very quickly. So. Oh. Alright. Page 46. Uh, moment. Def. Tweak for right length. Low three amps? Something? Blurry. Improved reverse projector technique. Okay, so this seems like iterating on a scanning technique, maybe, or something. What are what are these? Because I had one of these in my house. It's like a portable speaker. Yeah, maybe glasses, case, and uh, the slight disadvantage of limited assets, and because it's a video game. Cause like I, I had the exact, it looked exactly the same in my own house. Oh, like a pin case, like a like a pencil case. Okay. Uh, okay, so I don't know that I need to break into anything yet. Well, I do immediately. So there should be a note. I don't think I could open, pull up either of these. Yeah, I can't. So.
trial and error, put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. Huh. Okay. I do, I do think this whole thing is very sketchy and is going to end poorly. Uh, the brain has an amazing transformative quality and plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. Yeah, it's a horror game. I'm sure it's, ah, another USB stick. Um, I'm sure it's going to go great. Okay, I really am going to have to figure out how to... Because there's no... Okay, so when I picked up the bottle and I could drink it, the interface changed so that it gave me, like, a mouth. So it's going to let me... It's going to tell me when I can put things in computers, I'm sure. There. I can walk around like civilized human beings. Uh... Oh, the notebook had the code. Thank you, Gregory. Not entirely Technobabble. Alright, let's do this. What are the odds that they're even alive? I'm in an office building at a doctor's office. Why would I need to run game? All right. Monday, James, 9 to 12. A nebula. Oh lord. Alright, I feel like we're about to get to the... To the scary part. Oh, that was me pushing this door open. See, now I'm gonna start getting jumpy. Okay. Office. Server room. Someone else likes the same jaws that I like to drink. Hey, I'm not supposed to just have liquids or uh, syringes out. So there's no... There's no messing with that computer. Practice running as long as you're able to, I guess. <laughs> Is that a professional doctor's office? <laughs> it's... It's... It's not. <laughs> or shouldn't be. Hey, come back out here. Yeah, I, there are, for instance, why are none of their computers locked? Why did I just read all those emails? That's not a thing you should be able to do in any professional setting, really. Hmm. This is, this is gonna go... Changing? No, it's not visibly ticking. But I'm not sure if I. Hey, I can run. Do, 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 do. Got a good loop. Ah. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. 
Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes I did. Great, well we can start whenever you're ready. Hmm. So, what exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your mm -hmm. brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> like, when someone who is apparently doing this partly for academic purposes says, we're going to take a scan. A scan using what? What radiation is being involved? What technology? There's not such a thing as just a scan. Please, let me see. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Are you the best of us? There's like, this, this is so, this is so sus. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Can I change my mind? I changed my mind. Nope. <laughs> Don't get stressed out or you die. Can you imagine what <laughs> living such a life? Impossible. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. No. Uh, Canada, Munchie, born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good, all files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Hmm. Mr. Munchie, did something go wrong? This isn't funny. Okay, I might turn the game off. I'm not up. supposed to put myself in. Okay. This is kind of. This kind of stress me out. Let me. Turned it up a little higher than should be, but is the oh it's supposed to be super dark. Okay, then I will. Well, I just want to be able to see it. It's daylight where I am, out like in my office, and so. It's stressing me out. I get here. I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. I want a suit. I want some form of armor. There's a do not enter sign out there. What the fuck? guess 
tentatively that that is Japanese. We are probably not in Canada anymore. Unlock terminal from service console. Hey. Insert an Omni tool. Omni tool. It's like a little tasery thing. Just lying around over here, is it? No. Is that, is that that? Come on. Nope. 50 quality replacements for something. Did I. Oh, I missed it. That was a tool box. What? Am I supposed to hit it? I'm guessing. Ah, yes. Greg, are you saying that the Omni tool is in here? This thing I cannot get into? It's not lying around. And. There's not a way to... Okay, so I'm missing something about this room. I have not looked up. And one should always look up. Clues coming out here. It doesn't usually work in games. Huh. Can I hit it? Closer and then throw it. Am I right there? Yes. Slice up my entire body on the way. This place is extensive. Hmm. I don't like this. Okay. So we have a mixture of languages. Wait, did that say humidifier? Okay. Not dehumidifier. Uh, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comms out. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. 
Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? Can we talk about the hand symbol here? That's... Huh. Also, their use of them was plural, suggesting there are multiple motherfuckers. Like me, running around, confused, having trouble opening doors. I just got distracted by that wet... some generic organic material and goop, I guess. Munch print. You don't like a primary interaction icon being your fingers dissolving? No! sort of logo with a model on top of it. Home is a state of mind. That sounds like someone who can't go home. Hmm. Okay. Is this a classic video game joke? Or... Someone doesn't like looking at themselves. Oops. Sorry, door. Ugh. Hello? Is anyone hiding in the corners of the bathroom? Okay, there are usable mirrors later. Okay. You know, maybe I should just arm myself. Break room, observation tower, tunnel, security, tech depot, thermal plant. Okay, so they asked if the factory had been sealed off. I think the word they used was factory. Robot dock? Okay, I won't get surprised by monsters. That's good. Hmm. Uh, that's not what human eyeballs and brains do when they aren't working great. They don't pixelate. Well, I guess I've never had mine fucked up in just such a way. So maybe I'm wrong. Am I still... I'm not still wearing the helmet. Am I? The sort of face plate. I thought that popped up. Up. Did I just walk past fucking Velociraptor style? I did. I don't like that. I mean, I do. They're actually pretty fucking adorable. But I know they're not gonna be on my side. Oh, fuck. I should be touching more things. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? 
every day we ask ourselves. You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. It's so weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. So, that's not me, okay, so it's not me hearing something happening now, obviously, that was some sort of past event, which means that the whole, they're having trouble opening doors, etc, does not mean I was listening in on a conversation happening. It meant that I was picking up some sort of psychic residue, or something, I don't know formulating theorems. That's all happening in this game. That's not the landscapers outside doing shit. Ah, oh god, I've never been good at leaning in games. Just walk my ass out around the corner. This is true, I did pick safe mode. Deliberately. Stairs, the things I slowed over the most. Uh oh. Hmm. Am I a robot? I can't see my feet anymore. I was wearing jeans earlier. Who knows? I guess I saw myself when I was in the chair on this side of whatever gate. I'm not so. Suspected structural faults must be reported immediately. To whom? Because I see some faults. I guess... Okay, let me finish going down this way and then I'll go back. Oh, fuck nuggets. Crouching. Well, I was just thinking my feet might be different. You know, you set some up with like a goat leg situation and their feet are gonna be behind them. Oh, it's a sticky crouch. Yeah, yeah, no, no view of one's own body. Uh, plenty of newer games. Okay. Hi. Hmm. This didn't go great for you. Am I next? Also, is that, is that blood or is that like oil? Where's your head? Okay. Well. I think that I would like to go home. Am I still crouching? I am. There's a lot of fluids. Do I have a goal? I have a 
destination. Rather than figure out what the fuck is going on. I should keep looking for things to touch. Because touch tells me stuff. Is this just a completely inert service station? if there are things to more things to poke at in here maintenance tunnel oh it's a hat I'll take that I feel like I need more protection than I have. However much protection I have is probably insufficient. Is this more tracer fluid? Can I just drink that and go home? Aha! Alright. Put that aside. Yeah. Who needs a manual? Whoops. Omni tools and advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. Onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Uh oh. Over time, the Omni tool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. Uh, Omni tool is a short range signal used for, for basic or automated actions, such as opening doors. While providing complex operations, uh, the Omnitool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main and auxiliary slot. Main slot. Do, 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 do. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. Auxiliary slot. It's connector. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well. have this device, but it doesn't actually, hmm, okay, ah, that might be a thing I can touch. At no point am I, like, holding it. We'll see what happens when I can use it, I guess. lit up. What are you? Anything back over here? Is there... The inventory is useless in the game, it just shows you what you have. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so, does not seem to me like there's anything else in here. And no way past that corpse. Motherfucker's got a stargate in here. What is this?
I mean, I cannot walk past there. Try it again. See what happens. Let's step on that. Oh, I'm very curious. Okay. Hmm. Don't touch the spark wires. Well, you know. Who needs safety from electricity when there are monsters theoretically about? Ah! Hello, friend. Oh. I need a yellow key card. Some sort of upgrade. Am I still crouching? Hmm, maybe I should stay crouching. Shit. Plant. Okay, so break room, machine hanger, observation tower. Okay. I'm. Oops. Something that is just part of the floor. I must have missed picking up something for the Omni tool back in this room. Oh, right. This is what I was supposed to plug in. Holy shit. Good lord. Welp. Stop. Huh. That's a light. go and look and see. Okay, so that wasn't open before. There we go. Pathos 2. Service console up to 3, including pilot seat activated. Pilot seat. All right. Um, remote access denied, servers offline, main power suspended. All right, so it. Oh, I do need to do that. Uh, the year is 2104. It knows, hmm, I was going to say it knows who I am, but it is, in fact, sub underscore Simon. Possibly subject Simon author? I don't know. 
Hmm, okay. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Manage to ch whoops, shit, right clicked. Welcome back, Louise Muron. Upsilon. Your multi tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. Aha! To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip, which I don't have. I'm on that toolbox. Oh, I can just, I guess I'll just. Tool chip found. Did I get to, uh, level three? Are any of them different? No, okay. Yeah, 2015 version 1. This is me assuming that that first line is a date. But it's probably a date. Just a long, long jump or sleep. Is now fitted with a tool chip. Run an update to confirm installation and latest security ciphers. Let's do it. Security cipher updated. But I would Okay, so Fine orientation. Let's see. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Huh. Sometimes you gotta get into places you're not supposed to be in. Figure it out. You're an engineer. Okay. So, Cortex chips go the side of the device. And so... There are none that socket sideways, so there's nothing else to do here. Okay, so I'm going to take a break for about five minutes. Um, and then we'll venture out, and I have to decide if I want to go around left to this newly open part, or go back to where I was. Uh, and I'll probably, probably stay over here. But, uh, yes, so, BRB.
Am I back? I'm back. Another console in this room. Let's go see what this computer says. Ah. Do 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 do. All right. Let's see what bullshit. Okay. Well. Oh. Huh. Okay. In progress was. Pilot seat is offline. Pilot status. Not me. Sink. Okay, so. Put a pin in that. Okay, pilot report. <coughs> pilot is Carl Simkin. Support is Amy Azaro. Azaro is the name of a person we've heard speaking, I think. Um, replace heat shields, result success. Simkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Simkin's symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. Attention. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it in the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. That means you'll have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Chief Factor. Hmm. So, can I... So, those things that were like, no pilot... Can I... It would be interesting if... I know the Omni tool can be used remotely. Plot points from this game blur... Ah, which I have not played the Talos Principle. It's on my list. It's in my want to play category in Steam. So, okay. Hmm. Can I fake it into thinking a pilot is here? What if I back into it? No. Okay. Okay. So I don't think I can do anything with this yet. Except that I know that it is for sure a pilot seat, not a brain scan device. I'm just looking to see if anything looks different than before. Everything just looks the same, but darker. Cool, cool. This game's scary. And it's not scary scary. I don't have reason to be scared. But I have reason to be scared that I'm gonna be scared. And that's not nothing. I 
have no... Is this where I was? Yes, it's gotta be where I was. This is just a shortcut. That's very convenient. Thank you, game. Hey! Now we're playing Bioshock, baby! Sketch. I'm here. Ready to let it go yet? I guess so. Plenty of opportunity to go to bed on the fishes back in Fado. I'm gonna miss this place. Oh, it's a lot? Come on. We've worked here for years. You're not even gonna miss it a little bit? A power plant full of psychotic machines. I'll find a way to go. <laughs> That's cold, man. It's not up to long to phone got swarmed. Whatever. Seal that thing and get back to camp already. Hmm. Okay. Shark, some fish. Like nothing happened. Everything still looks the same. All silence alike. Back and different. Thick structure gel they can't shake. WAU's freaky fishes. Thick structure gel they can't shake. Okay. Oh, was it? Oops. Son of a bitch. All right. Salon. Felt like there was going to be some sort of seal there somehow. So ultimately, we want to get to. Doesn't hurt anymore. Did I just kill someone by zapping them? If so, this will be a little too Bioshocky, but uh, huh. What did I just do? Now I get to go crawl in a hole. Sorry. Uh. Critter. Little critter.
robots. Why am I crawling towards this shit? Why? What is wrong with me? Very painful to crawl on. That's how I know I'm a robot. The only question is, was I always a robot? Or did I get turned into one? And you're just like, yeah, the, none of that. Like, narrow slats. Just torture. Literally. And some. It is, it is a thing that is done. But also, would not want to crawl on it for that amount of time. Okay. Uh-oh. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can confirm its effect on WAU. The issue has been reported to SSE Walsh's. Is the effect what is happening to my vision? Okay, let's. We can test this. Okay, so right now, vision's fine, no, no pixelation. Does not seem to be any. Okay, so it's not the goop that's messing that seems to be having that effect. Okay. Hey, can you hear me? Huh. I don't know that unplugging this is a good thing to do. Radio signal blocked, insufficient power. Okay, so it's definitely draining power. I get that, but it sounds like a way to kill it. Just not. I guess I'll get out of reach first. Is there some other solution? I'm not sure there's another solution. <sighs> I'm sorry, robot. Boot sequence. It says manual, but I don't think it's me manual. I think it's it manual. Oh. Oh. Alright. What does this button do? Uh, all right. Let's 
get into green. Pause it. Let's see if that starts the bottom one. Does anything affect the bottom one? No. Okay. And I'll just get that to green and then see. What the fuck? I don't think I want to go in there, honestly. Okay. Lisbon, Portugal oh, is offline. What? What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you? Ah, oh, signal. Oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh some place dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look. This place is not. There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Ooh, I get a Chivo. All right. None of this is good. This is all all bad things. Well, there's the up. Is there not a... Of course not. Of course there's not a door over there. Well, I should go see what... For one, I want to see what the other end of this robot situation is. What the fuck? We have some waggly bars suggesting instability. Multiple breaches of the hull. Things are not good. Oh, is that that other? No, that can't have been the other entrance I got to. Well, we're gonna try a running leap. Ah, you son of a bitch. Yo, hey, I finally saw one. Oh, I'm doing this even though I know it's gonna catch me as a result, I guess. Enemy map with, or a mini map with enemy radar, please. Okay. I'm 
here. Where the fuck am I going? Those stairs. Okay, I went up the wrong stairs. Check off suspended hole and walk away. For sure. Is it like. Yep, 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 yep. What the fuck are you? This is unacceptable. Oh, you're coming up here. Oh. Eek. No, thank you. Oh, shit. Okay, well, okay, it's a little smarter than I thought. Well, bad news. <laughs> I gotta go back down there. I don't think I'm gonna. Well, like, I can't die, so. I guess there's that. My god. Oh, my heart is pounding. Even though, I mean, clearly I would have died in there somewhere. Lockdown process initiated. Check terminal for details. Kind of user info. I might already. Oh. Huh. That 140 days is probably a very long time for uh, anyone here. Got sheep. Wait, does that say Amy and? Carl, okay. Oh, there are two pillows here, okay. Amy's sketchbook. do list being awesome so sealing some exits make supply list something leak fix leak and door lock assembly being awesome okay let's check the back of that oh okay Got a bit of a portal vibe happening. Oh, we are here. Okay, so we came from... Downstairs... Room. 
Okay, so we are heading towards communications, so we are here. We need to go up one more floor to get to comms. I, however, do want to try to get into that computer. Also, I've been avoiding looking in here. Nobody seems to be in a good spot in this in this situation, robots included. Just gonna. Is that you? What happened to the pilot seat? Oh dear. Could not. Oh, critical system failure. So, of course, my question is, is this always the body that this person had? Or, did them being in this body, was that a consequence of... What are you? Oh. Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler? Henry, this sound familiar to you? I... no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Are you... human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard saying the mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Okay. Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Bruh. So, where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy! Okay, okay, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be, I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here! See? Uh, okay. I just didn't expect you to look like that. You really hung up on appearances, you know that? Hmm. How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, promoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields and... That's my last clear memory. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Oh no. I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands. Both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. If you see any others, just let them know where I am. I'm really hurting here. Go get some help. So, my inclination so far is to. Uh, is to think that my brain that my brain is misperceiving things in a particular way and that that is in fact a more st standard issue human body in a very gory state. However, I'm not saying anything about who or what I am. Which 
I suspect is not what I think. <laughs> I mean, I can't see my legs, so what can I possibly say? But Okay. I supposed to have already known someone's ID? Can I ask Carl for Carl's ID? The passage on the other side of the room. Oh. System failure. Unsurprising. Can I like whoops? Oh, right, I can get the same vision again. Shit. Always useful. something. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. I can still go upstairs. Oh, there's one more door. Uh-oh. Okay, so there's Carl. Zero seven twenty-two. Let's lay my hand on their abdomen. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos two until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around. Oh. Well, bad news, Carl. A bad news robot. Okay, 
0722. Right, not crouching, running. Then I gotta go have a little tough talk with the robot over there. 0722. No password. Cool beans. Drafts. Um. Epsilon auto process. Power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone has, if anyone ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here. Huh. I don't feel like I should send that. I am going to want comms on. Okay, so everybody was at Theta except for Carl and Amy. I'm concerned that that might start some sort of countdown on the Jump that way? No. Uh, on the power. So I'm gonna talk to. Mind giving a guy a hand? If you see any others, just let him know where I am. Find someone who can help. Okay, there's no. There's those two rooms. I don't know how to orient myself on this map. Not that I'm already good at that anyway. Can't I just do it here? Ah! Okay. Two little rooms, which I think would be... Those two? So I'm going into the robot space. Computers? No. What the hell are you doing? Holy shit. Is that... Yes, power status has changed. suggests that there shall be monsters. New York. Status. Offline. 2103, which we know it's 04. Uh, office is closing down. Everyone's being evacuated. For everyone here, I want to say it's been an honor working with you and Upsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. Hmm... Don't see a orthographic map? Is that when you square the fuck out of it? Uh, 
Lisbon. Update on the defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Estimated time. Oh, I didn't catch what year that was. Okay. Similar time frame. London. Oh my god. It is with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Upsilon and Pathos 2. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, your supervisor Jane Adams, and the rest of the staff. Jane Adams is sus. You're a terrific group, and it's with great confidence I say that where we fall, you will surely carry on with bravery. Uh, Cadiz. Jonesy, I know you have a much better chance for survival, but we have the better view. That's cute. Alright. We were talking with Lambda. Oh. Okay. That's funny. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared. Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No. I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. And a dead body. Except for one. I, I think he was in pain. I'm not sure what to do. He said he was hurting. Uh, sort of. I don't know. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Shit, shit, shit. Where do I... Where should I... Oh, fuck. out the climbing and swimming keys and rhythm. Look up! Why are you looking at the ground? Holy shit. They have a situation. Staring at the pebbles. Whoa. Okay, so we are under the sea. Lambda. Find the shuttle to Lambda. There's some fish. Yeah, 
there's no way that rusty ass shit was actually gonna move. Can I? I don't think I'm gonna Skyrim my way around, as Gregory calls it. Okay, so. Let's look for another way. I like the blurry effect that they have done here. I have never been a person who can open their eyes underwater, like while swimming, but I'm gonna guess at some point there are enough, there's enough stuff that you get kind of a blur effect. I like it. Okay, so, uh, this wasn't the magic solution I was thinking it might be. Said, wasn't there text? Nope. Does this turn on? Can this be touched? No. Okay. So let's see what other structures are of interest. Did all of this used to be? There it is. Oh, okay. Zeppelin transfer. Uh, did all of this used to be under a dome or above ground? Like, you wouldn't just expose a computer. To water. With that. This is gorgeously done. Just every bit of this detail. Little moats. Over jump. Okay. Ah. Hello, fish. I can only do the climbing thing when they tell me I can. How did I... Where did I get... <laughs> Thank you, Greg. have coffee this morning since I had a, had a very hectic morning despite the fact that it is a day off from work I was like oh well I'll get up and start some bread dough and then tidy up a bit play some Warframe while folks are over and then do my stream and then I stayed up too late playing Warframe The new war is very good so far. So I'm tired now and did not have coffee. Uh oh. Come in, Theta. You better answer me, Strasky. Come on! Amy, where, where are you? In the field. I had to leave. It's Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on. You, you got the power automated, right? The, the plant is safe? We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasky! The machine killed Carl! Oh shit, oh, alright, um, calm down, it'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yes. I think so. I'll head for the show of the Ox. Good luck, Amy. Rooting for you. I... I feel like we are going to find Amy.
And good news, there don't seem to be any big robots here. I will stay on the path. Some what? Why are you staying out of reach? I'm the vulnerable one here. Sounds like a. Is that one of the Zeppelins? Bursts of static. Uh oh. It's like you're about to get aggressive. Don't make me be the bad guys. Not a not a good progression in the conversation. This is promising. Hmm. Okay. Does this wrap around? Is that just a signpost? Yes. That place looks scary. I don't want to go in there. Like anything. I guess I gotta go in there. Are you a. F I hope you stay a friend. I forgot I can run. Actually, can I shift that to a toggle? It's probably actually. Thanks, friend. So, does my static due to my new little robot friend, or is there another robot around? Huh. No particular implication of a way I can get up in there into the structure. Okay. A lot of a lot of stuff I can look at but not touch. Theoretically. One or more of them. It's a shuttle terminal. I mean, that building looks very important.
Can I walk up one of these legs? Mm, I don't think home skillet's quite that coordinated. Home skillet is very human. There's not a jumping puzzle. Okay. This is maybe a control thingy? Hey robot, can you help a sibling out? Or you, who's really struggling, can I help you break through that? back under here to see if there is something about this that I missed. There's so little like interaction. Like, I don't mean this in like a broad sense, but there aren't a lot of things I can do. Click. Click on things. Yeah, we've had... Okay, so shuttle station, Upsilon B. We'll do a, a tour. Okay, so that light is new. Kind of cool and weird. The fuck? Right. Aha. Motherfucker just takes a torch to it. Just like, just go slice this fucker open. long it takes. Okay, so if this had not been this had, like, if there had been, like, an airlock here or something, right? Like, if this had not been exposed to undersea, I wonder how long it takes for this much life to move in. I guess this would have been the airlock. Possibly. Not that how long would it take, but let's hope the shuttle still work. Somehow. 
All right. So, luckily we are, as the shuttle shuttles, uh, right next to Theta and Lambda. How convenient. Okay. Counterclockwise is Lambda. I have a feeling this ain't running at all. They can't make me go back and hit another button on that fucking computer, can they? Hmm. I'm on the fence about how much more to play. So I think I can say, just like, as someone who has now finally played a couple games in this sort of Bioshocky category, it's not my favorite kind of game to play. It's a game I like watching people play more than I enjoy the playing. Like, it's just not. How do I crouch? Uh, this isn't... It's less fun in the doing than I wish it was. But, uh, I feel like... There, I mean, there's gotta be something about this shuttle. Just a little bit more is, is what I'll do. <laughs> I mean, it's Bioshocky in that it's, it is dark. It's potentially monsters chasing you. Uh, it's big, big things. Uh, oh no. Uh, patrolling a room that you don't need to fuck with. It's lots of body horror. It's inexplicable circumstances and some ideologically troubling stuff, which is, I think, fun. I think that's the interesting part. Uh, but to me, this is quite a bit of overlap. I mean, there's no powers, but that's not, to me, that's not the important part of Bioshock. Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. Can I help? They won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. You don't sound like you want to die. I mean, you have pointed out that they will not let you die. Do you... Oh no. Are you okay? Can I put it back? No. I can't put it back. I knew. I knew that I couldn't. I could go without safety systems. I do not have to kill her. Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Okay.
That doesn't sound good. Sounds like I might have killed her unintentionally. Alright, so we are rocking and rolling with no safety systems. It's gonna go great. Uh, floatable airlock. Repair set. Okay, we have adaptable pipes, or someone had them, or someone just replaced them. Sit in the chair, like a professional. There, going to Lambda. So, I should talk more as I was stumbling around out in the ocean. Welcome to Pay oh, well, Foster, never mind. Your expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega space gun. The world's huh. most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station has multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers. Is this a good use of power? Together they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. I'm not sure there is a surface. Anymore. But as soon as I talk about FPG shit. Oh no. Another head injury. Sounds like something opened, but I can't see. Do I need to? What was opening was my skull. Yes, so Exploit Zero Day, we've been, since we released um, Rosette Diceless Companion and the updated Rosette Diceless, um, we have, um, we've kind of turned our focus more towards Exploit Zero Day. So we've done a couple of notable um, releases um, since the, the book came out. Um, which case, let's see, we added things like thumbnail images for clusters, like some, some nice sort of graphical elements there. Um, and perhaps most importantly, we've released a new job, which is like a quest in EZD. Um, it's free, and it is to um, to kind of teach you how to make a certain kind of cluster in the game that you can share. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for suspected 
No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Wow, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. Just say what year you're from. Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. Catherine? You okay? I bet you a dollar she's already a robot. Um, but, uh, Greg linked to Exploits Air Day. Oh, you think Catherine already has? Um, Exploits Air Day is free to play. So it's a browser based puzzle game in which you are playing a hacktivist uh, who's sort of um, fighting corporate and government overreach and corruption and uh, stuff like that. And you're banding together with your fellow players um, sort of as part of a, a team to to take down these sorts of incident, both the mixture of like incidences as they arise and sort of like generally the focus is on a company. Well, that didn't go. Jesus like they Christ! Hoped. What the hell? You the one that have been putting your finger in creatures' faces for the last two and a half hours. Boom. Well. So, looking for a maintenance hatch. I'll definitely wrap up soon though. Um Perhaps this glowing red thing. So easy to use, fun to play. You, um, we, but it's a mixture of story and, like I said, other people have created systems, uh, puzzles, and you can as well. Um, so it's cool. I think it's great. I'm glad we're back on it. Um, as Greg said, we've got a podcast coming out soon. We're Future Proof Podcast in your podcatcher of choice um except for maybe google still i don't know what the state of things is there here we go again it is holiday season which brings tons of holiday sales can say, as any uh, itch creator can see such things pretty easily. There's a Christmas sale, holiday sale, whatever, coming up soon. Um, all of our stuff is over on itch that is uh, relevant, I suppose. You cannot get print versions of the Rosette Dysel's books from itch, but you can get EPUBs and uh, and various digital formats of things. So keep an eye on us there. We'll be posting about it on Twitter and. I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? My friend, it's an ocean. So I might call it in this phase of stumbling around an ocean for who knows how long. Um, oh, I like to mention that um, Gregory has a role-playing game out called Fusion Time that is available for, I'm going to say, five dollars? I don't know the number, actually. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a lie. Um, but Fusion Time is about defending your home from an invading force. 
and you must fuse with your friends and family, or frambly, as I like to call them. In the... Oh! Uh-oh. Waited for what? Take your creepy ass on somewhere. Um... In order to... In order to face the oncoming threat. Um, it's really fun. I've been involved in playtesting. Um... It's, it's a lot of fun. It has a good, um, good approach in terms of, I don't know, unsurprisingly, I guess, to me, uh, an angle of finding what you have in common and taking kind of a compassionate angle there and understanding what's, what's going on. So anyway, cool system. And is GM-less. Yes, I think that is a fun component. It helps the... It helps, one, it helps you be able to play with smaller groups. Uh, but also creates a good sense of equity and equality. Mm. Mm. I don't think. Doesn't look like anyone is dusted out here. So our streams get archived over on YouTube, so if you came in late, or came in early, ooh, chasing Catherine, uh, and you need to see the rest of this stream or want to refer to a part, it will be up on YouTube relatively soon. Um, Greg will be streaming in a couple of weeks. There's someone up there. Fuck. Catherine? Be quiet. Don't look at it. I'm right next to you. You too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. I can't take any more. This is everything's fucked. I give up. There's <laughs> nothing left. Everything's oh, yeah, fucked. It's not the end of the world. You mm -hmm. sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. The project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Hmm. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Catherine does seem all right. Into the terminal. Sure, whatever. Simon seems uh. When the Omni tool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. S Simon being like. The Omni tool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. What is a robot chip for the door opener? It's standardized connect. <laughs> uh, Catherine? All right, let's give that. this a try. Oh, she had to go to sleep first? There we go. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna be like, I'll build a time machine. Like, motherfucker, you did time travel. Don't you read sci fi? Uh, just pretty much anything will fit. 
Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were gonna launch it into space to save from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Cap. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. What was it you said before? Are you from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan, and suddenly, here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Cool. I'd say something else to that. Come on. <laughs> All right. Just check the other room. Not that other room. That has a bathroom marker on it. Can't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Careful! I think it's back! Keep your eyes peeled! Holy shit. out of here. Can I close that door? I don't know if I was if that was actually the room I was supposed to get into. If so I did it wrong and didn't get what she needed. Holy fuck. Tell me again where I'm supposed to go. Strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad tricks, right? Confusing at least. Gives the senses a good punch. That's gone. There's no, there's no computer in here that is functional. Wait, I did get something. Nope, just books. Just books. All right, I'll call it here because whatever's going on, I have to keep track of something and I'm getting tired, so. Thank you all for watching. I don't know what I'm going to play next uh, in January, but it will be something less spooky, less tense. What happened to the tower and the dock and the welcome center? What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. 
all the cameras show static. It's it's so strange. Huh. Okay. Ah, uh, this is I'm very I'm very interested in the mystery of this game. I want to know what happens. Uh, so there's that. But anyway, you can find all of our stuff over at futureproofplays.futureproofgames.com. I always do that. Um, and our stream schedule is there uh, when Greg picks a game. What? It'll be posted no, over there. Never mind. So thank you all for watching, and I hope that you have delightful weekends. Friday evenings and weekends. Bye.